Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is day four of the trailer camper conversion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are racing against the weather, guys. Look at the sky. From yesterday to today, we haven't really done much. As you can see here, it's just the first wall and the second wall that Kyle is working on. Don't know how much we can finish today. But so far, this is all we got for you guys. And it's really gloomy. But we're making good progress. I just really think this uh, trailer is a little too tall. But I think Kyle wants to sample it out on the freeway first to see how the aerodynamic goes. What do you have to say, Kyle? I like the height. <laughs> you put more stuff in it. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. It's, it is pretty high. Um, it's got a short length between the hitch and the end of the trailer, so that might impact the stability a little bit. But That's I can what always... I was thinking. It's too tall compared to how long it is. <laughs> it's short and tall, which I'm not sure about the stability, but who knows. I'm not an expert on this. I can always cut it down. Um, that's not that's not too hard. I'll I'll make a final decision on that before we sheath it before we put everything on. This is not a video about safety advice. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to stand on the very Last step. Technically, you're not supposed to stand here. Well, no, this the second one too. Yeah. It's okay. I'll catch you. You will? No. Okay. I'm counting on it. It's actually silly me. This one has to come out. Um, yeah, because there shouldn't be a wall there. <laughs> I just realized. Well, it. this I wanted to make this a walk-in bathroom. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for now until I make the bathroom, and then I'll know what I have to remove. Yeah, because then, yeah, that, that these two studs shouldn't be here. Well, um... You'll have to move it. What are you thinking of using those bars for? Uh, this will hold the posts, the studs in line this way. Um, and then I'll go through like I did on this side, on that side, and put uh, bracing in temporarily just to hold everything nice and even and then I'll put the roof on get the roof cut up and then I'll go in and secure this temporary framing uh, wherever it needs to be which is probably right where it is but at least it'll hold everything in line because right now wood being a natural product is not straight perfectly so over there you can see some of the posts are leaning the studs are leaning a little yeah so. you need the bracing to keep it straight in the meantime this bracing will keep everything straight so you're just gonna put one or two one one down low and then one up high okay and just sort of help out are you are you gonna do it on the front too i just did it on the front that's where this one came from oh it, you only have to do it while you're under construction oh so. yeah because you already did the top yeah you already did the that's what i mean like the beam the top beam yeah because these side walls don't have top beams yet yeah. Not yet. Soon enough. Soon enough. Um, I've decided that I'm going to take a 2x4 and run it through the table saw, which is not currently out. But I'm going to cut a 45 degree bevel here, and then the piece of wood will sit on top of that top plate up there. That will allow a nice surface for the plywood to go on. What's this called? That's a mending plate. They use them in framing construction and particularly for roof trusses. It just, it's one extra layer that holds everything together. Grab one, careful, it's real sharp uh, off the top of the bin there. It's like a plate of nails, kind of. Um, so you just put it across the boards that you want to hold together and you whack it real hard with a hammer a bunch of times and it drives them in. And, uh, it just sort of helps to cinch everything together and helps all the boards act as one board. Uh, and, and I guess the closest equivalent would be like a weld. Um, 
it's it's not as strong nearly as a weld, but it, it sort of helps this whole board behave as one. Mm -hmm. With the other braces I have, it adds another layer of support so, uh, against okay. gravity. Yeah, it could still be useful with one arm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I know the bottom is most correct because that's the space I wanted. Looks like we got an 11 and a 11 and 1 16th inches there. So I cut a board that's 11 and 1 16th. Oh, so you're gonna reuse them? No, it's just blocking in between it. So yeah, exactly. No big deal. Yeah, I might just, as well. If I have something like that, then I can either just flake it off, or more realistically, just cut that end off and scrap that bit. So I try to save my scraps as much as possible because I know that these two by fours are only like I don't know four bucks after tax a piece, but still it adds, adds up, up. Adds up after a while. Yeah. So. Plus it just doesn't make you feel good at the end of the day when you look at the trash can and there's a bunch of <laughs> scraps in there you could have used, so. We have about maximum two hours left before it either gets dark or it starts raining. One of the two, yeah. or, or both more likely if yeah. it's anything like last night. If we don't do much more than what we've explained right now, then uh, Thanks for watching. Yeah, I guess this would be a good time to say goodbye. <laughs> I think we're gonna get Indian food tonight for some reason. I'm craving, <laughs> craving Indian food. It's the oil. It's supposed to heal my swollen arm. I can't help Kyle because I have this swollen arm. I can barely ride my bike right now. I'm just teasing. <laughs> uh, one of my friends recommended Ayurvedic. Uh, medicine oil so it this is morivina oil it's supposed to hopefully cure my um, swollen arm and pain and all that stuff hopefully in two days <laughs> or if that's just me being it smells like curry <laughs> it does smell like curry um, anyways I know this is a pretty short video today uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed our journey with this um, trailer camper conversion and we will see you guys on the next episode see ya thanks for see watching ya. bye